Greetings to you, viewers of Neo Geo Channel. Yes, another tactical video, something you enjoy so much. And this time we're going to examine a match of American Curse team against Brazilian programming TD. They presented us with a most interesting game based on faking the attack on the open bomb site by casting smokes in strategical positions, followed by occupying the inner bomb site by means of another interesting smoke, which we're going to see later. As you can see on the map, three players move out towards the inner bomb site right away and occupy the boiler's room. Meanwhile, the other two players take positions at the entrance to the T-Link and throw grenades over the roof, after which they rejoin their teammates. So much for the theoretical part. Let's see how it looks in practice. Frost runs to the boilers, aims for any CTs shown up on the other side of the corridor, following which he occupies position behind his teammate and smokes the lower ramp. After that, he attacks the bombsite from the upper ramp. Anger holds the boilers by positioning himself at the lower ramp and waits for a while. Once the flash and the smoke have been thrown, he attacks the bomb site. Take another look at Anger's timing while entering the bomb site through the ramp. We can clearly see that the flash hasn't exploded, yet he already starts off and runs backwards only turning around in a few moments to kill an opponent. Michael 3D. Well, his task is to cover his team. Until the very moment when everybody's ready for an assault, he keeps aiming the other end of the boilers, should any CT show their faces. When they get moving, he casts a flash on the lower ramp and enters the bomb site with his team. Juvenile carefully takes this spot and casts a smoke which explodes near the toxic barrel. Then he quickly runs to the inner bomb site, and as soon as he joins with his team, the attack begins. He moves in through the lower ramp and plants a C4 charge. Skadoodle. Just like Juvenile, he smokes the open bomb site, though his grenade explodes in between the second and the third track. Then he throws two more flashes above the roof and sticks to his team, occupying the inner bomb site. This tactics works best around after attacking the open bomb site using the same smokes. As you know, it is much easier to attack the inner bomb site than to defend it, which is exactly why we're going to focus on the appropriate player placement to successfully defend it. In this case, we have four players at our disposal who have taken ideal positions because even if one of them dies, his mate, standing at his side, will eliminate the opponent. Let's start from the beginning, though. A moment after the bomb was planted, the player's placement looked like this. As we see, there are two players in the boiler room. One watches his team's back, while the other one helps him out, controlling the upper ramp and assisting players at the bomb site at the same time. We also have two players at the bomb site itself. Those positions provide for a great advantage, because if players coordinate their actions in the right way, they can simultaneously attack one player and exterminate him with no losses. Another thing to keep in mind is that in case the bomb site has been attacked and your players are experiencing problems, Boiler Room is a priority no longer, unless the enemy attacks from the behind as well. Anger in this case made a very smart move using the lower ramp like he did, because counter-terrorists were already taking over the bomb site, and had he not entered that very moment, it would have been too dangerous later on. And the last thing you should take notice of is Skadoodle's actions. Covering the upper ramp, you should wait until CTs uncover themselves completely, then they wouldn't have anywhere to hide. If it's just the head, you shouldn't worry, he's no problem for the bombsite defenders either. What you could do is wait a little bit, and take him by surprise by leaving your cover. That was it for the movie. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to our new channel to stay informed of our new videos. Thank you for your attention, and see you soon. Bye.